He doesn't see that this is creating conflict for him. He doesn't see that this is creating conflict for him. He's also task-focused in his training. He teaches everybody how to do the job and how to do it well. But he does nothing on shame and default culture. I said, Jim, did you ever talk to them about their values? Did you ever talk to them about the things that they just go back to? Did you ever talk to them about their relationship with Christ? Well, no. I taught them how to sell strawberries. And for Jim, the project has priority over the client. I mean, after all, if you want to make a profit, you have to work in the project. And so for him, that was his default. And so he came to the same conclusion. I have to solve it. They can't do it. And of course, as long as he stayed there, it worked. Now behind this is something that is at the core of many of our problems in mission and leadership. It's what I call task-focused leadership. You focus on the task, whether it's translation, consulting, teaching, church planting, evangelism, uh, whatever the task is, community development, and that is what drives you. And you do what I call a task-focused social game. The strawberry social game, growing strawberries. The translation social game, translating scripture. The consulting social game, how you do consulting work. The teaching social game, how you teach in a class. You follow a standard template, a default template, to do these things. And it's technical. And so in doing that, you teach people the role, the skills, and the rules for doing this work. And then, you direct them. You supervise, you tell them what to do and how to do it, and they do it. They've learned their roles. And they follow direction. But then you turn it over to them, and there's a crisis, and everything falls apart. Because, you see, they haven't internalized any of your values. They haven't internalized any of the kind of core things that are part, that's behind the technical skills that you're using. Uh, they don't really have your culture. And all of those technical rules, roles, and skills have a culture behind them that drive them. And so in the default culture, anxiety causes them to withdraw. We can't do it. Sorry, we tried, but we can't do it. And the new person in Christ is forgotten. In fact, it never was even on the table. Because you taught them the technical skill, something that the, the task focused. Now, I've been working with SIL for, since 1977. And SIL is one of the most task-focused organizations in the world. Uh, and that's not a criticism. They're good. They get the job done. But they're very task-focused. And the people they recruit are trained to do tasks. They have special skills. Jim had community development master's degree from a very important university in the United States. He was very good at what he did. Uh, but those task-focused skills didn't work. Oh, they worked as long as he was willing to stay in charge. But as soon as he tried to turn it over to nationals, his leadership style was not there. So they couldn't do it. They couldn't adopt it. And they really didn't have the values behind it to do it. So, the question is, what alternatives do we have to task focus and technical solutions? I want to come back to the question about the farmers. Jim said, are these people really believers? He questioned their faith. He questioned their integrity. He said, how can these people be people of God? I said, Jim, did you teach them anything about being the people of God? Well, no, that's not my job. I'm a development guy. It's exactly what he said. It's not my job. I'm a development guy. I taught them development. And so the question is, are these people converts or are they disciples? Has anybody ever discipled them? Or did they only lead them to Christ? And was the gospel of benefits gospel to escape hell? Or was it called by Jesus to follow me? And did anybody ever teach them to follow Jesus? Jim said he didn't. That wasn't his job. 
were the standards, cultural standards or God's standards in this project? Were they growing strawberries by the cultural standards of Jim? Or the cultural, their cultural standards? Or by something about God? It had nothing to do with God. It was all about their different cultures. It was Jim's culture of marketing strawberries and their culture of growing strawberries. And there was really no conversation about God at all in the project. And so it really came down to clan and project as opposed to relationship with God and people being the people of God in a covenant community with God. Nothing about that. Nothing about that. And when it came down to shame, it was clan shame that drove it. No gospel shame. They didn't even think about the gospel. They didn't even bring their Christianity into the conversation. What did growing strawberries have to do with being a Christian? What did selling strawberries in, the, in Fort Moresby have to do with being a Christian? Nothing. Jim didn't think it did, and they didn't think it did. But when they didn't do it the way Jim thought they ought to, he questioned whether they were Christians or not. Now what I'm saying to you is, there's a huge gap here in terms of what we expect of people. Because if there's no way to help them become followers of Jesus Christ, then how can we expect them to think like we think or have the values that we think? There's no way they can do that. So with what is JT's challenge as a leader? He's got to rethink his leadership. His whole leadership program is based upon a task focus and really misses the point of how to lead these people. These people need leadership, they don't need to be taught task. And that's a critical piece I want to say. People need leadership, they don't need to be taught a task. And if you're going to use a task, you need to use it for something more important. And what is that? I would like to say that you need to teach them covenant with God, community, and work. What is it like to work in Christians in a community that is infused by Christ? How do you work differently in that kind of community? How do you think differently in that kind of community? First of all, those people, if they were believers, had a new identity in Christ. They're God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved. 1 Peter chapter 2. Okay? Jim didn't talk about that. There's a command that Jesus gives to his disciples, a new command called love one another. Jim never talked about that. Okay? He taught them how to sell strawberries. There's the calling that we're servants of Christ with diverse gifts. And how should those diverse, diverse gifts work in selling strawberries? We don't talk about that. How should those diverse gifts work in growing strawberries? We don't talk about that. But what strawberry has got to do with our faith? Well, why not? God calls us to unity, respect, honor, and mutual concern. Now let me tell you a very simple solution to the strawberry project. A very simple solution. You sit down with these people and you have a conversation with them. Okay, why is your brother tempted to put bad strawberries in a box and sell them? What's going on? What's he need? And you have this conversation, you find out, well, he needs a few more dollars to pay for medical expenses this week. They had to buy some drugs because his child is sick. Well, isn't there a better way to get that money than putting bad strawberries in and ruining the project for everybody? Talk about this, think about this. Are there other ways? You know? Look what's happening. We're destroying the whole project. You guys got to think about this. How can you help your brother so he gets what he needs without having to put bad berries in? Now this is what love one another play is about. It's confronting people with the question. Okay, why? What's the pressure that he's under? That he's tempted to do this? How can you help him? How, if you love him, what are you going to do with him? He's your brother in Christ. Now they easily could say, okay, uh, there are 12 of us selling strawberries. He needs $5 instead of five boxes of rotten berries in it. Uh, I'll give him one. You give him one. You give him one. You give him one. He's got five more boxes. And he got the $5 he needs. And he doesn't have to sell bad berries and hurt all of us. 
But that conversation never happened. Now that's leadership. That's identifying the problem, helping people to discuss it, and begin to think how they can solve the problem without taking something that's going to hurt everybody. That's leadership. Leadership is not marking the boxes. That's just technical control. You know, it's punishment. It's not dealing with the real problem. The real problem is somebody needs something and doesn't know how to get it except by putting bad strawberries in his boxes. So that's what you have to talk about. And that's where you bring their faith into it. That's where you talk about loving one another in Christ. That's where you talk about what it means to have unity, respect, and honor for one another. And this is where you learn to submit to one another in Christ. You give what your brother needs. You help him instead of forcing him to take on the sly what he needs. And this community never had any training in being the community of the body of Christ. None. They were living like they lived whenever they didn't know Christ. Exactly like they lived before. On a day-to-day -day basis in their farming. If you don't learn how to farm in submission to Christ, how can you then sell strawberries in submission to Christ? In other words, there are really critical issues about following Christ that they could develop, they could learn, but somebody has to teach them. And as Christians, we don't think about that. We just give them rules and don't begin to help them to find a way to be in Christ. And so really, all of these things that I'm telling you are fundamental things in the scriptures. They're not something I invented. They come right out of the Word of God. Do not judge. Do not condemn. Do not give false reports. That's out of the scripture. Be merciful. Forgive. Restore those who sin. That's the big thing. And so in this project, 